Chrissy Teigen Teigen Teigen. You'd better do what I want. Hello. I'm H.G. Tudor. Moonfaced narcissist Chrissy Teigen Teigen Teigen, the lady who's not sure how to pronounce her own surname, has demonstrated once again plenty of her narcissism in action, with a report that comes courtesy of Us Weekly telling us about an interaction that she had with her husband, intimate partner primary source, John Legend. It once again demonstrates the base idiocy of this woman and the way that her narcissism controls her activities, making her look like a complete tit while she thinks she's hilarious. After all, remember, this is the woman who thought it was entertaining to tell a 16-year-old to take a dirt nap and would mention about certain individuals cutting themselves, demonstrating her complete absence of emotional empathy and the way that she believes behaving in such a manner was appropriate and humorous. According to the report, Chrissy Teigen 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 had one special request for her husband, John Legend, during his latest TV performance, and he didn't follow through. Oh dear, John. Looks like she's going to be wielding the strap on and you're going to be hitting the high notes as a consequence of your failure. Now, what you're about to hear is a classic example of the way that the narcissist seeks to assert control over an individual when they're not physically proximate. Recently, Legend performed at the Democratic National Convention. So what that means is he's away from Chrissy Teigen Teigen Teigen, eyes are on him, he is the one that's receiving the attention and not her. That threatens her control over him. So what she needs to do, driven by her narcissism, is essentially create some ever-presence to cause her to be remembered at the time of his performance so that she knows subconsciously that he's under control. So how did she go about this? Well, she stated... I told John if he really loves his family, use of guilt, he has to tug his ear while he performs at the DNC. Hmm. So the supposedly adult woman, who admittedly spends more time receiving satellite signals on her oversized visage, dictates to her husband, it doesn't matter that you're undertaking a professional obligation by performing at the Democratic National Convention. What I want you to do is be thinking about me and prove that you're thinking about me by tugging your ear part way through, because I'm more important than you, and you need to be under my control. I don't give a fig for whether it makes you look stupid or whether it interferes with your performance, but the fact is you must do this. And she utilises guilt by saying if you don't, that must tell us that you don't really love your family. Moreover, showing the idiocy of the oversized dinner plate-faced Tegan Tegan Tegan, she told her followers via Instagram story about this. And then she put, and so if he doesn't, then I'm out. Use of threat. Out of what? I don't know. The relationship? In the next slide, Tegan 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 shared a screenshot of her and Legend's text messages after his performance. He didn't actually tug his ear, oh dear. Not a single ear was tugged, Tegan Tegan Tigan wrote, to which Legend 45 replied, Oh my God, I completely lost it. What? Tegan Tegan Tigan agreed with her husband, writing, You did, but you did a good job. Too bad it won't matter to our children. There, as a backhanded compliment designed to provoke him, by saying, well, you did a good job, but it won't matter to our children. Basically, they won't care. Now, the article ref refers to this as a playful exchange, whereby she captioned the upload, wow, 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 couldn't have been more clear, took all of four minutes to forget. So, what's happened here is this. In order to maintain control over legend, Tegan Tegan Tigan issues this instruction, tug your ear during the performance, to demonstrate that you love us all, that you love your family. And if you don't, that must mean that you don't. And then he doesn't do it, which wounds her. And therefore, 
She has to remind him of that fact by asserting control over him directly with a text message stating not a single ear was tugged. But it goes further than that. She then has to demonstrate her lack of boundary recognition by telling the world about a private exchange between her and her husband. We don't need to know about the fact that she told him you need to tug your ear if you love your family. It's between them. It's meaningless. It's minutiae. But remember, as a narcissist, Tegan Tegan Tigan thinks that everybody is interested in what's going on in her world. You'll recall, this is the woman that put on Instagram what was going on when she was having an abortion stroke miscarriage. She's still not certain which one it is. She is that type of narcissist where a bowel movement is something that she would want to share with the world. The fact that John Legend fell over is something she'd want to share with the world. Each piece of minutiae of her life, she believes, is of huge consequence and of moment and ought to be shared because her narcissism tells her, you're the amazing Chrissy Teigen Tegan Tigan. Everybody wants to know about the banal aspects of your life. Of course they do. You've brushed your teeth? Tell the world. You've cooked some chicken? Tell the world. You cracked a joke at John Legend's expense? Tell the world. And thus, what is a private exchange between husband and wife, whereby he fails to do what she requires, which wounds her, she then has to share with the world as an indirect assertion of control. Because in essence, what her narcissism is doing is this. For fuck's sake, John hasn't done what he was told to do. That threatened our control over him. You've told him off directly, but let's make sure he realises that you're the one that's the important person here and you're the one that's in control. So let's now tell the world about his failure and point out that he's a bit of a little shit for not doing it, but we'll make it look like it's a playful exchange. Because, you know, hey, we're jokey. It isn't a playful exchange. It is a barbed provocation towards him. And then sharing it, stating it took all four minutes to forget, is demonstrating that basically she regards him as irrelevant. But he isn't, because he wounded her. So she shows the hypocrisy also. This behaviour is basically like a child who hasn't got their own way and then has to go crying to somebody else, i.e. the world, and say, no, what John's done is a big meanie. The article continues by trying to suggest that they regularly poke fun at one another. But remember, she's a narcissist. And so what she does isn't about fun, it's about control. So it's a provocation, it's humiliation, it's belittlement, it's invalidation. Legend doesn't necessarily pick up on that. But once again, you're treated to the way that this woman exposes her personal interactions with her husband to the outside world, one, thinking that everybody wants to know, and two, as a means of indirect control, naturally driven by her narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.